welcome to my history and civics class my dear students of 8a and 8b today's points mentioned in the board please look at it rise to the spirit of nationalism formation of an all indian movement going to well developed system of transport national awakening democracy and national freedom and last point aspirations for self government the first point rise to the spirit of nationalism my dear students when the british not came to our country our country india had no centralized admis administration that means so many states were there and so many rulers also were there one state was governed was ruled by one ruler that's why the people of different parts of india or different states of india had no sense of oneness they had no sense that they belong to one nation they belong to one country on the contrary they always were ruled by one ruler that's why there was no national awakening among their minds they could not understand that they had their own identities since they were ruled by that particular ruler of that particular state they belonged but when the british came to india as traders and ultimately became the ruler of our country they introduced a centralized administration and ruled the people of india as a result the sense of oneness formed among the minds of indian people for the first time they felt that they belong to a country they belong to a country they, they they were the people of a country named india so they must have their national identities they must have their national and they are form a national national sentiment for the race they realize that they would be treated they would be treated by one ruler belonging to citizens or people of one country one nation and each and all people would be treated would be treated without being discriminated for their religion for their language for their religious sentiments culture and this thing and the introduction of central administration in introduced by the british helped the people of india realize that they had their own identity naturally it led to the growth of indian nationalism among them indian nationalism their country's name is india since they belong to that country india their identities are indians 
they belong to a country named india their identity their national identities are indians for the first time they felt it they realized it they understood it and second one formation of an all indian movement formation of an all indian movement you know the british in the interest of themselves set up a good network of roadways railways waterways and brought a remarkable remarkable development in the field of communication and hence the people of india for the first time realized it that the problems of other indians who are living in other sides of this country who are living in other parts of that country were facing the same problems so the problems they were facing and the aspirations they were you know developing in their minds were not different from those living in other parts of the country for the first time they felt it they realized it and it enabled it enabled them to communicate their thoughts with each other and at the same time help them to organize an all india movement and next point national awakening national awakening the people of india those who became educated they read the thoughts of mills william jones they came to know about the social reforms introduced by a number of social voluntary social organizations of india like brahmo samaj arya samaj ramkrishna mission theosophical society it encouraged people to think independently it encourages people to think and act up and act in a rational manner in every sphere of life because of their education people were able to think each and every issues by applying their rational rational knowledge and they ultimately left the prejudices the superstitions the orthodox attitudes and ultimately became a complete man and decided to do something better for the country's development and growth they realized that that very country india belonged to them they were indians
as Indians, they must do something for the growth and development of this of this very country. And it gave a birth of national awakening among the Indian people. Now democracy and national freedom. Democracy and national freedom. The people of India, especially those who became educated, they studied the history of French Revolution. The concept of liberty, equality and fraternity encouraged Indian educated people who were determined to make the common people who did not have any education knowledge basically illiterate Now educated people decided to communicate message for them that it belonged to their country. Every people of India would be treated equally and the Britishers they came to this they came to that country to that country India to rule the Indians. So one day obviously would come. The Indians would rule their own country and other Indians would be ruled by other Indians. And the Britishers would have to leave the country forever. This sense of, you know, awareness gave a birth of national aspiration and the concept of the French Revolution helped them to learn the system of democracy. In a democracy country, in a democratic country, one representative is there by whom people are ruled a, an independent government is formed for a term of few years and the pe people may change them. That very government can be, that very government can be, you know, can be rejected by the people. And further election is held and under, and uh, after that election, a new party is, a new party forms another government. It is the system of a democracy. People are treated equally without being discriminated by the ruler. So this idea, this democratic, this democratic sense led to the growth of national freedom. People realize that they must have their freedom, national freedom, since they belong to a nation named India. Their nationality, they are Indians. The next one, aspirations for self-government. Aspirations for self-government. The people of India in course of time realize that The oppressive rule of the British must be stopped. The British frame a number of oppressive rules. They followed the policy of drain of wealth in order to make their own country rich and prosperous at the cost of Indians. Indian wealth, Indian natural resources. But the educated, educated people for the first time realized it and communicated that very message to the common people who did not have any education but had eagerness to learn the miserable conditions of the Indians. How did the British drain the wealth of our country? On hearing it from the educated people, they also were determined to 
make the country free and the idea of self government for the first time came to their mind the idea of self government that means they would rule the country under british care that idea for the first time came to their mind but under the policy of oppression under the control of british parliament from england under the control of british you know empress under the proclamation proclamation of queen victoria the people of india remain silent but when the people of india especially the sepoys of india were maltreated by the british british administrators maltreated by the british government they took an oath to start armed rebellion against them they had been eagerly waiting for the situation suddenly one technical mistake the british committed they introduced a new system of cartridges whose paper was made up fat of cow and pigs and there was a system of that cartridges covered with a paper made up fat of cow and pigs before loading the cartridges into the rifle and field the sepoys would have to would have to open it with their teeth but that that system that system of using the cartridges for enfield rifle harm their religious sentiments both the hindus and muslims felt insulted and they refused to use the cartridges of the enfield rifle and ultimately the sepoy mutiny the battle the revolt of 1857 took place my dear students that history already i have taught you but thing is that this revolt of 1857 encourage millions of people of india that they could protest against the british wrong policy they could make themselves united against the oppression of the british and british foundation they shook the very foundation of the british during the revolt of 1857 up to this my just thank you